one of the songs I rewrote is the possible song that may make the album. So we're, I mean, I feel like we write really well together and I'm excited to see if it makes it. So. What's that song about? Um, it's just about, you know, ah, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's called The Funny Thing About Love and uh, I think you'll get it. It's kind of exactly how love works, which doesn't really work, but sometimes you get lucky, like my mom and daddy got lucky, so maybe I will one day. <laughs> so far, not going so great for me. I have met a lot of cute guys, I just don't really have time for them. This guy asked me to marry him, like I literally got down on his knees, it's like on the internet, you can google it. And then I got like asked to prom a million times. Like, how am I supposed to go to these people's prom? I don't even know them. Oh, but this one guy I considered because I was signing the day after my album came out. On the front of his album that he had bought, it was like a little arrow, and I opened it up and like this thing popped up and said prom. And like his name and his phone number, and I was like, hmm. So I was like, hmm, I'll think about that. I might go with him for real just because that's so cute. I am very independent. And I like that, yeah. I have a hard time having a boyfriend because I don't like for a boy to think he can tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. That's how my daddy raised me. Right. And um, I just have a hard time with it, and that song basically tells this guy that thinks he's hot stuff that he's really not that hot stuff. Mm -hmm. In high school, I was interested in boys. <laughs> in high school, I, I was a cheerleader. It's really funny because I grew up playing softball and I was like a big tomboy. And then I got really burnt out on it. So I tried out for cheerleading in like seventh grade. And I was hanging out with all the cheerleaders and they're not tomboys at all and they like rubbed off on me. <laughs> so then I turned into like this big girly girl. But I can still be tomboyish at the same time. So I tried out for cheerleading and I made it. And then I was on the competition team mm -hmm. and um, I had to learn how to tumble and at first I was horrible. Like literally it was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. I had to take like private training. Right, right. And then after I got my back handspring, yeah. Everything else kind of started coming easier. Good for you. But I got, I broke my leg in eighth grade tumbling, doing a round off back handspring tuck, and I had gotten it. And then I did it at practice one day and did it wrong. Oh my broke God. my leg. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm done with tumbling. <laughs> I, before American Idol, I worked at CC's Pizza. Okay. It's like a pizza buffet. You uh -huh. it? It's, it's, like, it's like a pizza buffet. How many different? As as I can. How many different kinds of pizza? A lot. Yeah. And I remember this one day, I'm like really clumsy and working in a restaurant doesn't really work for me. <laughs> and I remember I was cutting <laughs> I was cutting the pizza and like I almost cut my finger off one time. Oh, and then no. I was just you know how some people are just mean and yes. they just like make you mad. Okay, so I was in a bad mood, I'm not gonna lie, and I get a little crazy when I'm in a bad mood. So I was like cutting this pizza and I kept dropping them in the floor. I dropped like seven pizzas in the what floor you? and they put me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Were you too young to even have a job? I was, I got a job when I was uh, 15, about to be 16. Is this energy or you have this all the time? Uh-huh, I do. Did you drive your folks crazy? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so you can laugh at oh, all those yeah. people that were mean to you in the pizza parlor yeah. now because look at you. <laughs> no, they, they loved me. Oh, and I okay. used to sing to the customers. And at first, my boss was like, Lauren, you can't sing to the customers. And then people would, like, request it so people <laughs> like me. <laughs> Have you felt starstruck yourself? Oh, being yes. There? Like, who, who floored you the most? Because I freaked out at Shania Twain, personally. I freaked out when Luke Bryan passed me. I was like, hello, Luke Bryan. <laughs> I'll shake it for you. I'll country be the country girl. girl. Shake it for me, girl. <laughs> I just met Keith Urban, and he walked up to me, and he was like, hey, Lauren, I'm Keith. So it was really cool. I was like, hey, and Keith. Like, Hi, Mr. Urban. How are you? I am Lauren, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I've got your shoes. Did they hurt you, too? Yes. I feel like my cuticle's getting pulled it's off. Like, no, that's why I wear, I mean, cowgirl boots all the time. But apparently... 
High heels make your legs look skinny or so long wear high heels tonight. That's the only reason to wear them. Okay. Big mistake. This really is a southern girl, isn't it? Earlier she's like, all I ate all day was a biscuit. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> you Are you hungry? Uh, yeah, I could use a few little bits of fried chicken or something. Oh, let me put it on. Are you hungry? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> He's, he's got a bad. He's got a oh, and when I'm full, I say, I'm full as a chick on a fat dog. <laughs> well, I think part of the reason that I got fans, I was always doing something to embarrass myself. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. We're going to have so much fun, and we love you, and whoa. Woo! That's not. This one was the Britney and Madonna. <laughs> no, but it wasn't. It wasn't. If so, I mean, if you don't. You're going to hit me in the face with those cards. <laughs> No. I'm gonna start asking you really no, no, embarrassing no, no, questions. No, no, no. <laughs> so, how are you doing today? <laughs> They're gonna get stuck like that. Ooh. What happened to your toe, first of all? Lauren. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> Got ready to sit for a while? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> There was this cute guy, uh -huh. and I was What's distracted, going? and I was like waving, you know, and I didn't see this concrete step in front of me, and I face planted into the concrete, oh. and like skinned the top of my toe completely. And That's my story, <laughs> period. <laughs> Thanks <laughs> about the toe. That's great. <laughs> 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 Sorry. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> But um, you have a good radio voice. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good singing voice. Thank you. You're very welcome. The only hard part about all of it is, is the lack of sleep. Because I'm a busybody anyway. I would yeah. be bored if I wasn't like going all the time. It's just I get to going so much where I can't go to sleep. I'll be like I have like full energy and I'll be like trying to go to sleep and I'm laying on the pillow like maybe I should write a song or something or or well I was gonna say work out but that would have been a total lie. <laughs> <laughs> I opened up the second half of the show after intermission, and I didn't have any shoes to match my dress, so I borrowed some of Thea's. And they were like heels, and they were like this high. <laughs> and uh, so I put them on, and I was walking, and there wasn't like a strap. Oh. To, like, so like no it. net, you're performing this high wire act. Oh, I wasn't on stage, thank God. Oh, oh. oh good. I was, uh, I was like, I don't really feel that comfortable in these shoes. So I, uh, I was backstage, and there's some stairs backstage. And uh, I was like, I'm just going to practice. And literally, I went down the first step and fell all the way down. Oh, no. And, and that was practice. Yeah, thank God I, was, yeah. I decided to practice. <laughs> It must be like when I had my learner's permit and then like I finally drove on my own. You oh, know? well, I don't know that feeling Times because I still only have a learner's permit. Well, in Georgia, what's the age where you get your license here? It's like 16. 17. Okay, so you just have it at a time. Oh, have... no. And I have a brand new car that I want on the show. Yeah, you, and it's just dusty. Just, no, you know, my dad saying? drives it everywhere. Oh, your dad gacked your car. Your, your dad's driving it's a, it. It's a red Mustang yeah. with a white racing stripe. With two like white racing straps on it, convertible uh, Shelby GT500, and it's a um, stick shift, and it's got like the the really fast engine. But I have like there's like child lock on my key, and you can only go like a certain amount of like. Can you even drive stick? Do you know how? Yeah. Um, eh. Okay, so we'll know you're heading down the street if you're like clutch of the month club. Well, I, my you know what's crazy? People usually struggle with backing up. That's my expertise in a stick. I'm like, yeah, watch this. <laughs> Just drive I'm backwards. like, I can back it up. You can drive it, but I'll back it out of the driveway. <laughs> so if you see some girl rolling, rolling backwards in a Cracker Barrel, wave because you'll know exactly who it is. And I'll be getting this Mothered and Covering Girl chicken because it's nice. the best. This one back here, first of all, she asked, is the DMV open on Sunday? <laughs> I don't think it is. But because I'm going to be home Sunday, I'm just making sure. Hopefully I don't get an, a woman. Maybe a big guy. Because... <laughs> One of my friends took her test and it was a guy and she aced it. She said she hit like all the cones. But then my other friend got like this older lady that was really grumpy and she failed, so. 
He did awesome, and it was really great for me and my daddy to do that together. And I remember sometimes we would he would want to do a song that I wouldn't want to do, and I'd be like, we'd like argue a little bit on stage, and we were trying to make it not noticeable, so we'd be like, I'd be like, no, Dad, I'm not doing that. It was really awesome. I had a great time. Actually, I have this really funny story about when I auditioned. I had tried out for Chattanooga Idol, which is like this thing in Chattanooga where if you win, you get to cut all the lines and you have to sleep on the sidewalk and you go straight to the judges. And I didn't win. I got like sixth place. And uh, the guy that won, I watched him because he cut the line, so you kind of watch in the arena. I watched him walk up to the table and not make it. And it scared me so bad because I was like, uh, Mom, let's go. Let's just leave. He beat me by five places, so let's just, let's just get out of here. And I actually like, got up and walked away, and I was really upset. And my mom talked me back into it, thank goodness. How late were you at the Nashville auditions? Um, let's see. Oh, it's a really funny story. So make, I'm the last one. Am I talking to the camera? I'm the last one in the Nashville auditions, and it, I don't get out of this place until like 2 in the morning, and I, I went to Waffle House with my family, and I was so tired that I was sitting at the table like this, and like, we went, we uh, rented, I mean, is that what it's called, rented a hotel? Yeah, I guess. We paid for a hotel for the night, and uh it was really funny because the next morning I got up and I went down to the lobby to get food and there were these three like biker guys and they were like, oh, you're the girl that was drunk at Waffle House last night, passed out on the table. <laughs> they thought I was drunk and passed out and I was just tired. <laughs> I was like, I'm not old enough to drink. <laughs> That's what I said to them. That's funny. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> and then I also have a turtle and his name is Squirt. I do like to paint his shell though, and it's actually my brother's turtle, and he gets really mad about it. It's, that's completely not important to what we're doing. I just wanted you to know that. Imagine that, me saying something that I shouldn't, right? Like I probably shouldn't have just told that story. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, isn't it? Don't, don't show that on the show. <laughs> Cause it would have been funny, <laughs> saying. I don't know, I say I'm just saying a lot, don't I? I'm just saying.